Number six for the intermediate oboe student is all about controlling the pitch of the oboe. And this is always a major concern with conductors and in chamber music, not only for band and orchestra, but in playing with two, three, four, five players. The oboe needs to be in tune, and setting the pitch is always a concern because the oboe has a sound that projects uh, more than most instruments uh, in the band because it's producing the sawtooth wave. The first thing we want to remember at the intermediate level is that you can have your reed not all the way into the oboe. We want to make sure that it's securely all the way in. If the reed is a hard, a hard to get into that well of your instrument here, you can just rub the reed down with a flat edge of a uh, ruler. Just put the reed flat down on a table and roll it so that it goes in very easily. If you don't do that, possibly the reed is not all the way in, you're going to play flat. Once we have the reed into the instrument, then we want to make sure we're playing with the proper breath support and the proper embouchure. So when you're rolling your lips under and you have your lips rolled under on the bottom, you have your teeth apart here, and we're blowing the air, we want the pitch to be like this. If we're taking too little reed, you can see the pitch go down. It should be going flat, or if you take too much reed, it can be sharp or too high. In either case, you want to make sure that you're listening very, very carefully. Use a tuner. And again, using the idea of buzzing the G is very important. So if you play a G, you can take your reed off. You want to make sure that matches. If your reed goes higher, you're going to be sharp or too high. Low is flat, you're going to be too low. So you want to make sure that you are right in tune with the reed all the way in and your lips at the proper spot and buzzing that G will ensure that your pitch will be right in tune.